My Steam library has officially surpassed 200 titles. And just like those old jokes about cable television, a thousand channels and nothing to watch. I'm finding myself increasingly bored and disinterested by everything in my library. But the primary reason for the vast abundance of titles at my disposal is my subscription to Humble Monthly. Every month I add 6 to 8 titles to my library that I probably will never touch. But in my search for boredom reduction, let's put it that way, I've finally decided to take a look at some of the titles that lay there forgotten in my library. So I decided to take a look at Absolver. I first heard about Absolver, same time everyone else did, at Devolver Digital's E3 conference, was it two years ago? It might have been 2017. I don't really remember. But the concept was interesting. It seemed like a mix of a brawler fighting type game and For Honor with its 101 somewhat combo-based combat. But I've never been entirely sold on the idea. I mean, the hype died down shortly after E3, the reception wasn't exactly glowing, and I figured, all right, so it's just another interesting game with a slightly different concept. But since I've been so disinterested by the rest of my library lately, I went, hey, maybe maybe I need an interesting game with a slightly different concept. So let's take a look at Absolver. First, options. Seems to have a fair bit of settings. Everything is set on ultra by default. I'm gonna turn off virtual synchron vertical synchronization since I do have a G-Sync enabled monitor. Full render resolution, is that super sampled or is that just a nondescript slider? It's a nondescript slider, interesting. Alright, so we'll leave it mostly on ultra. And go for the new game. now. Full disclosure, I am slightly aware of what how Absolver is put together. There some sort of there's a card system for your moves and you build custom decks for your attack types. Other than that, I'm I really have no idea what the gameplay looks like. Also, I will be trying this with a Steam controller. I've downloaded a custom configuration. So Let's see. Let's see how bad I suck. Alright, so apparently we have some RPG elements. Origin. Skin color, basically, is what this means. Alright, let's go with a sickly pale gray. Male will do. Can I rotate the character? No, not really. Um, and see. It feels like... Huh, I wonder. No. The haircuts are not... Oh, they are. They apply to both sexes, but are slightly different. That's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Let's just go for the wild. It doesn't really matter. Since we're a sickly gray skin color, let's go for a lighter hair color. Light blonde. There we go. Combat style. Forsaken is balanced with focus on strength. Kalt. Kachelt. Improves strength and vitality. 
with absorb. Huh, all right. Interesting, so what, what is this sacrifice in exchange for strength and vitality? Windfall, ah, dexterity, I imagine cult sacrifices dexterity in exchange for strength and vitality. So windfall improves dexterity. Has a dodge. So we have, by difficulty, they are cult, windfall, and forsaken. Oh, you know, the balanced one is considered the most difficult. Since my reflexes are poor, I don't think windfall is viable for me. I think blocking actually sounds super useful, so we're gonna risk the difficult combat style. Sure, I, I really don't care what my name is. Modeled some faces. I assume from the footage that it, they just couldn't be bothered to model any faces. But apparently the masks are, I mean, perhaps a plot related device. Super trippy. Huh, this feels like a matrixy type thing. Put on the mask. An awakening in a new world. Alright, so I feel like the view sensitivity is pretty high, but I'll see if I can live with that. Alright, so we're in some sort of ravine. Huh. A lovely landscape. And some ruins. Right bumper locks changing target unlock all right some weird zombie type guys that I'm supposed to attack It's slow to attack, to be honest. It's not it's not super punchy. Right, so we have stances. I think this is the block. So swiping Swiping the touchpad seems to block. Alright, so right trigger, change stance. 
Yeah, this definitely feels somewhat similar to... Somewhat similar to For Honor. I mean, obviously, I imagine stances have a much deeper impact here than they do in For Honor. Although, there are also attacks that swap your stance there, or rather, just the hold of your weapon. But if your body is your weapon, then your hold is your stance. So the stance changing depends on your attack. Because I can start anywhere. But I will end up alternating between these two. Huh. Oddly enough. Even a normal attack with the stance will swap me. So this is my default stance for my normal attack. Alright, basically all of my X attacks currently put me into the same stance. Attacks have a special property. Ah! Uh huh, so you can faint. I'm getting my ass handed to me. So let's check, was I right about that? What does that do? I don't know. What did I win? Hey, emotes. <laughs> Alright, so I kicked in this door. And there's a guy here. I have no idea what's going on. This tutorial is weird. I'm just supposed to, you know, practice. The moves. So we swap, super strong attack, bam, bam. Switch over, super strong attack. I'm not... There's a ladder here that I can't climb, right? So... Can't climb ladders. Duly noted. So you can cancel your attack by guarding. The question is... Why?
can dodge. All right. I, I, I'm still confused. So, so obviously I need to fight. Uh, <laughs> I'm aware of that much. And I just came up onto a magical door. Can I open this magical door? I need to find and defeat Silan. So far, these guys are all very easy. Oh. A double fight. Dodging really... Should have been mapped to something easier to reach than B. But hey, it's a Steam Controller thing, so... I, I don't understand why... It Base attack is mapped to the right paddle. And the left paddle is mapped to some sort of weird view manipulation. I don't know what. Oh, it's, it's the right trigger. Okay, I think, I think it does the same as the right trigger. No, no, it doesn't. I don't understand. Parry, right, while locked. Alright. <coughs> Match direction. As in, counter the direction, or... <coughs> I don't understand. Yes, counter the direction. We need to counter. All right. So, was this the no, no. More stairs to go down still. Silent or Silan or whatever the person's name is. Oh, there we go. Door Guardian. Alright. So what can I do for you, Door Guardian? out how the I died all right so I can I can respond immediately or wait 50 seconds Hey, respawn, respawn point. That's what that was. I thought it was some sort of pressure plate. Alright, so you can run. This is... Oh, wait. Oh, things respawn. How very... Dark Soulsy.
All right, so this is this is the is this is the spot? I think this is the spot. Yeah, this is the spot. Yeah. All right, so you can also interrupt. Buddy. Alright, so he's gonna attack from hit. Yes. Alright, so stance is a pretty good indication which direction the attacks are gonna come from. Alright, so I guess I unlock the door now. What lies beyond the strange magical shining door? It's like a shepherd type thingy or something. I'll be honest, not the way I was expecting this to open. Is this uh, someone I gotta fight? Oh. Talem. Talem will try to help me as I progress. What is the fold? Meditation. So I, I assume this is a a safe spot or something. So we can meditate. Meditation. So we can practice the combat deck. All right. So what does that mean? Oh. Literally practice. So we can edit the stances. <laughs> Attack sequences. One, two. One swap to upper. Alright. What is this? Ah, alright. Alternative attacks, all swap stances. <laughs> oh, so I can't. Ah, all right. So this is looks pretty insane. So what what are we doing? Attack one, change your stance to down. So this is supposed to one, two, three, four. All right. So we're back at the normal stance. This stance swaps us down. No, no, it doesn't. One, two. Ah, all right. So, no, no, I do not understand. Starting up top switches up to the right, which is top right attack is a two punch combo. Which leads to the right, which finishes with a stronger punch. Starting top left is... A single punch, which moves us to the top right. And continues.
Continuing the combo. No, I don't understand. So you're always going to finish the combo. Huh. Hmm. All right. I think I think I understand how this works. You pick a basic attack which leads into a combo and that combo would will always go through if if you use x but if you interrupt it with a y no I, you start here huh Yeah. All right, so the... All right, I, I think I, I understand. Primary attack will basically just cycle you through the moves. It's gonna change your stance. but it'll follow the combo chain that your initial stance started. So as long as you continue pressing X, you're going through that sequence. But if you're going to an alternative attack, then you perform whichever attack is on the stance that you are currently in. So the second attack in the se sequence isn't tied to the stance you're currently in. All right, this is this is a very very weird concept, but I kind of like it. I mean, cuz what we've got here essentially, right? So you start up top, attack, attack, super strong attack, super strong attack. And then you're back into your normal. So we can move through all four stances with X, because we're just fo following the chain, and then three alternative attacks that lead to a super strong finisher. Huh. Interesting. I, I like the way you can actually customize this. I think this is what they were on about. Huh. I. Gotta say, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Oh, there are tips. All right, so there's... You can time your attacks perfectly. <laughs> So, when your character blinks... Oh, those little 
arrows on the stamina bar? You're supposed to hit those for perfect attacks? Dear lord, that's... That feels... Alright, I mean, I'd rather watch the action on screen than a little bar to time my attacks just right, but hey. You know, you wanna do good. Alright, so there's a level up. Alright, so that, that's what they meant with the slight, slight focus on strength. Um... Tension shards. Haven't even gotten that far. I don't know. I imagine those are the little gold things hanging off the waist. That I think you can summon weapons from eventually. I don't know. I'm not gonna spend my attribute points right now. Do we have any cool equipment? Ah, just the things that we were wearing. Alright, I, I think they'll do for right now but um hmm. I might yet enjoy Absolver who knows well we'll find out next time